Introducing AutoMod version 2. So welcome to How To Dino. In this video, we are going to cover the new AutoMod version 2 that's been added to Dino. To get started, head over to the DinoBop dashboard, dino.gg, click on the Manage Service button, select the server you'd like to manage, we'll head over to the Modules tab, and then find AutoMod. Please keep in mind that this tab will look different depending on your server and what you used most often. To easily locate the module, go ahead and use the search field up top and type in AutoMod. That will go ahead and populate the module. Go ahead and click on settings and we are now introduced with the new dashboard. So before we begin, make sure the module is enabled. Now let's just go over what's changed. So we are greeted with two simple buttons in a search field. We'll go ahead and dive into the manage default settings button here. And we've got three options. We've got the default log channel, ignored channels, and ignored rules. With this default log channel, this will go ahead and set the log channel for all the rule sets you create and send the logs to the specified channel. In our case, we will set the logs channel to logs. And these are actual channels in our server, so keep that in mind. And then we won't set any ignore channels. So setting an ignore channel will have AutoMod completely ignore that channel. So it will not perform any of the rule sets in that ignore channel. We also got ignored roles. This will set AutoMod to completely ignore roles. So they will be able to bypass all of your settings here. Keep in mind that administrators and moderators are already ignored by AutoMod. So there is honestly no need to set them as an ignored role here. We'll go ahead and hit save. We'll just go ahead and dive into the rules. Please keep in mind, I will only be going over some of the new changes. If you guys would want a more holistic video of AutoMod, I can go ahead and do that. But a lot of the rules listed in this version two is the same as it was before. It's just now compiled differently and it allows you to customize it further. So to get started, the number one thing I love about this is that you can now dial down rules to run in specific channels. So say you want to have a specific banned words list per channel, you can do that since you are allowed to create multiple types of the same rule. So this will allow you to hone down on specific channels and really fine tune how Automod works in your server. So to begin, we'll go over the new things. First up, we'll go ahead and set our rule name here. We'll just set it to example since I'm just showing you guys some of the new stuff added. So if we go to rule type, as you can see, this should be familiar because this is a lot of this was in the previous version of AutoMod other than this check clearing new lines. So this is new to AutoMod and this will go ahead and detect when a user sends a message containing X amount of new lines. And we can actually set that amount here with this field here. We can go ahead and manually enter the number or we can use the arrow keys here. So the minimum for this guy is two. So when Dyna detects a user that has sent a message containing two or more new lines, then it will go ahead and perform the specified action. So here we can have Dyna warn the user, delete the message, auto mute the user, auto ban the user, instant mute and instant ban the user. Now the difference between auto ban and auto mute and instant mute and instant ban is that with auto mute and auto ban, the user must surpass a specific number of violations before Dino will actually perform the action on them. With instant mute and instant ban, Dino will instantly mute or instantly ban that user once this rule type has been triggered. And it's the same with all the other rule types as well. And also keep in mind, these are stackable. So for example, you don't just have to set Dino to warn the user. You can have Dino warn the user and delete the message as well as maybe automate the user on top of that. So with that, this was the number of violations I was talking about earlier. We'll have Dino automate this user after they have triggered this twice. 
So after two violations, then it will go ahead and automate the user for one hour, which we can also change using the arrows here where you can manually enter your number. So I'll go ahead and keep that at 60. Next up, we've got permissions. So we have affected rules. So if you only want this rule type to apply to specific rules, you can go ahead and select them here. If you want this rule set to only apply to specific channels, you can also go ahead and select that here. If you leave these fields blank, this rule set will apply server wide. You also have the option to set ignored rules. So if you would like to exclude a specific rule from triggering this rule type, you can go ahead and do so here. Same with the channels. So if you'd like to set a channel that will essentially not have this filter running, you can go ahead and do so here. We've got some additional options. So as I said earlier, we have a default log channel set. So all logs will be sent to that default channel. But if you'd like to have log specific rule set set elsewhere, you can do that using this drop down here. Since I want everything to be sent to my default logs channel, I will leave this blank. And for premium users, we have the ability to set a custom response. The default response for this chat clearing new lines is no spamming. But of course, I can also enter whatever I'd like here. I'll leave that clear and I'll hit create rule. I'll go ahead and add our rule, which will allow us to edit, delete the rule, or even disable the rule or re-enable. All right, another new change. So we'll call this example two. The all caps filter now allows you to set the percentage. So before you had the ability to just set Dino to delete messages that contained all caps. Now you can further fine tune that, but now you have the ability to change how sensitive you like Dino to be. So keep in mind with this percentage, the lower you have it, the more aggressive Dino will get and the higher you have it the less aggressive Dino will get. We'll leave this as the default, which is 70%. Again, we have the same actions here, permissions that will do the same thing, and then same additional options with this default response being too many caps. And then another change. So as you go through these rule types, you will see that you have some custom settings. Some others do not have any custom settings and you can only edit the action. So this is just detecting whenever a user sends a sticker in general. So there's really nothing to customize when it comes to that. You just have the option to send or specify the action with something like uh, mass mentions. You can go ahead and send your custom uh, number for that. Same with some other options like clean cooldown. So the only other rule set that kind of stood out to me was the links rule type here. So before we had separate options within Automod, but now it's just built into links here. So if you'd like Dino to delete specific links, you can go ahead and set your custom links here. So if you'd like Dino to perform an action for links listed in this filter, you can go ahead and add your links here and set the action. Um, with that, if you go ahead and add uh, allowed links, Dino will actually go ahead and delete all other links posted and only allow your specified link here. You also have the option to just delete all links in general, and you can set the allow list here. Otherwise, you can just go ahead and choose the actions. One other rule type I want to point out is the bad words. So here we can actually enter what words we like Dino to filter. We have the option to set wildcard words. So this will allow Dino to detect the word anywhere within the sentence, even if it's like matched between like two other words. And with exact, this will only uh, allow Dino to detect the word exactly as it's written. Other than that, a lot of the other rule sets are the same. Some new additions that were added later on is the Zalgo text. So an example of Zalgo text is this guy right here. You can have a specific rule set set to look for this type of text and then perform whatever action you'd like, as well as the known phishing links. Other than that, all the other rule types are the same. So have fun creating your new rule types. All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.